Hi, my name is Anthony Zubnik, and I work for Wolfram Research, and uh, I'm a kernel developer there. And my main projects that I work on are the cloud, but I'm a big machine learning enthusiast, enthusiast which is why I uh, wanted to come and give a presentation today. Um, and I'm going to be presenting on, um, you know, our platform and how we can make machine learning uh, really, really simple for you, and um, and integrate that with, our, with with the cloud, which I think you'll find really interesting. What's your opinion of this edition, the Hit One of Big Data Space? What's my opinion of this edition, the Hit One? This edition. Yeah. Oh, so I, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really surprised. I, you know, I hadn't actually heard of Big Data Spain until the start of the uh, start of this year when my colleague pointed it out. Um, but uh, you know, it looked like a great event, and the, the amount of growth that you've had is is, is amazing. I, did, I really didn't realize that you were the second, the second biggest um, like event in in Spain. That that is that is very impressive. So the second one, how would you explain your grandpa? What are you doing every day at work? How would you make a living? How would I make a how living? I'm living, a uh, living, right? Sure. Um, so I mean, my granddad is uh, he's Greek. Uh, my only living granddad, he's Greek, so we don't really talk about my work too much. He, he, he doesn't, he's never used a computer before, he's never, he only knows how to use a phone, so in terms of what I would say to him would, uh, would be, I just, I, just work, I just work with computers and I, I wouldn't explain anything, anything else and that would be fine. I and mean, when I explain to my dad, is probably a better example, although he's worked in the software industry, so it's a, it's a, it's a bit different. Um, you know, I, I, I tell him that, uh, well, that I'm, you know, that I'm, I'm working with computers and I'm doing programming and, uh, um, and I, when I talk to him about the cloud, I say, you know, that, uh, that basically, you know, we've, we've got all our software running on remote uh, machines that, that, aren't, uh, that aren't right there. And that's, that's basically about it. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, in our in our company, um, is, is probably the the best the best example. Um, we you know we we use um, Elasticsearch uh, for, uh, for for processing uh, processing our data, and, and, and in that regard, being able to uh, to be able to uh, analyze data on multiple clusters of our of our cloud system is actually is actually really really useful. And without that, it would be really hard to to debug our uh, to debug our software. So, I mean, I'm sure there are so many situations and so many companies where that is uh, that is useful. But in terms of like you know, in terms of statistical analysis and things like that, you know, big data is, is such a such a big de a big deal. Like in our NHS uh, in in the UK, it could um, you know. We're starting to see signs of life there, where they're actually starting to use big data to do analysis, and I think that um, uh, that we're going to see some like re really remarkable changes in the next few years. Hi, the last one. What is the next buzzword after big data? So the next buzzword after uh, big data, I would. I mean, it's kind of already. It's kind of already exists, and I think it's machine learning. I think. You know, machine learning is. I mean, that's what was said in the in the in the in the keynote today, um, and I, I, I wholeheartedly believe that that's going to be the case. Um, you know, we, we've seen it just over the last couple of years, the real the real shift. So I'm wondering if you're going to be changing your uh, the name of your conference to Machine Learning Spain or not. <laughs> well, who knows? <laughs> so that's all. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.